Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's quick tip. I'm Chris, and I'm here with Mike. And today we'll be taking a high level look at the linearization and profiling process in Ergosoft. So, very quickly, linearization is important because it establishes the total density for each of your channels. It provides a baseline calibration, so that could be restored to its originally calibrated state over time in the future. And it also ensures a smooth transition from zero to 100% of your ink channels. And of course, a profile is what establishes the shape and size of your color gamut. So, Mike, let's walk through the big chunks of the process and start with the beginning and just kind of take everyone through uh, what it takes to, to get this going. Sure, thanks, Chris. Uh, the first step is to set up your print environment and your print settings and your quality settings right in here. OK, so a few different options in the print environment settings, and you want to make sure that you're using exactly what you plan to use in production. And once that's set up, what's the next step? The next step is to rip and measure your first linearization chart. OK, initial density linearization. We want to use a low number of patches. We want to ensure that we scan each chart twice. The reason for that is because you're going to be able to compare each chart scan against the other chart scan to make sure that you don't have any imperfections or errors in your actual measurements. And it's critically important to make sure you do this for all parts of the ErgoSoft measurement process. So we scan this chart twice. We make sure that our measurements line up with each other. And then. Then you move on to the second chart, which is this one. OK. The second density linearization chart, as you can see, has more patches per channel. And what we're doing here is we're beginning to establish the curve between zero and 100% ink density. Again, we're going to measure twice. We're going to make sure that everything lines up. And at the end, we are going to typically auto limit those channels to establish a new 100% maximum for each channel. Correct. After that, you need to find your total ink limit that you're going to use when you make your profile. And the total ink limit is important because it's going to restrict the total amount of ink that the RIP will use. There's a certain point when the printer can put down more ink and it will cause pooling or cockling on sublimation paper or just have an adverse impact on your color. And we will have a standalone video so that we can help you read and interpret the total ink limit chart. So once your total ink limit is set. Uh, then you can move on to your actual cutter GPS profile chart. Great, and this is the thing that really defines the shape and size of your color gamut, as is the case with all processes in ErgoSoft. You want to make sure that you scan this twice or three times. It's worthy of note that the higher number of patches you use in the color GPS process will uh, result in the highest level of accuracy and refinement in your profile. So many times customers choose a patch count well within the thousands to make sure that you have the best possible profile. So once the chart is scanned twice, we're done. Yeah. Um... Just generate your profile and you're good to go. Excellent. OK, everyone, well, please make sure to look at our in-depth video for this process and contact us if you have any questions.